Hello everybody and welcome to this guide and tutorial for the golden shot difficulty level is medium and we're gonna play one of the old classics from the vineyard acres hole number four from the recent thanksgiving tournament but before we start make sure that you do hit that thumbs up button also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications you can get ultimate tournament guides or and exclusive text guides by going to patreon link to patreon and our guides is directly in the description down below all right, hole number four. This is one that I do believe we have an extremely good shot. I want to call it money, and I'm actually going to call it money. It's a money shot that I do have here for you. And we have obviously been able to tweak this hole for so, so many times as this shot has been, or this specific hole has been featured in the golden shot for so, so many uh, times. Uh, so we're going to play golden long iron every single time. Max plus 20, which is the same as you do have in the VPR table on the right hand side. Follow that, or you follow the VPR table that is in the text guide, which is exactly the same. If you do get the hole in one, you get the onyx chest. If you do get the yellow ring, it's the fire chest. We do have the scarlet chest as a red ring. We do have topaz chest as a light blue ring. Azure chest as a dark blue ring. And there we do have all the chests. Press the question mark on the top right for more questions about the golden shot. If you experience an error or you just have more questions, then you press the button called contact us and send in a ticket to the Golf Clash support. So let's take a look at the landing position. This is the same that we have had all the time, which is bottom of the yellow ring by the fringe, where the fringe meets the green to be more exact. Ball guideline to be pointing towards the hole. It's going to be just after the hole, but it's going to be uh, as the direction towards the hole. And this is before spin. Here it is very important to not add spins until you have set your position, because otherwise you will be completely off. Trust me on that. So let's take a look at the videos, jump right into the action. And we do have a win coming left to right with crosswind. Bottom of the yellow ring by the fringe line ball guide line towards the hole and with this win here we're gonna play 3.8 backspin and we're gonna also gonna play 0.4 bars of left spin 3.3 miles per hour is 2.2 rings and as always when you play the golden shot or at least following my advice it is to pull over bullseye so you can see them using the top of the ball on the take shot button pulling over the bullseye to get 2.2 rings maybe a smidge too much left spin here or maybe a little bit too much in my pull to make this shot being missed on the left hand side however if there would still be a yellow ring left to claim we would be getting that uh, ring that's for sure as we're getting very very close to the hole we're getting at least the most outside ring there the asia chest let's see what we do get besides the lovely kingmaker the thorn and then we have a kingmaker in the end of course so next one we do have a wind coming right to left same wind strength but it's just a, a different you know direction uh so same landing position as already explained we're gonna play 3.8 backspin and 0.4 right spin this time instead of the 0.4 left spin as we did the last time with the wind coming out of the direction it's basically the same thing just that we are changing the direction of the side spin 3.3 miles per hour once again is 2.2 rings and we're pulling over the bullseye hitting take shot center the ball hit perfect and this is going to be close taking my time all the way down to the wire final second Bouncing on the green, and we love the camera angle like this. Right at pin. Beautiful hole in one here on shot number two. So let's see what we do get here in our chest because it's always exciting getting the hole in one because then we know we're gonna get a decent chunk of cards and there could be some good stuff in there if we are lucky. Boomerang is yuck, but uh, the kingmakers are good. So, next one here you can see we have a win coming left to right with Tailwind. And same landing position, bottom of the left, the bottom of the yellow ring by the fringe, ball guideline pointing towards the hole, four backspin and 0 0.2 bars of left spin is what I'm using here. Five miles per hour is the strongest uh, win we have, it can have in pro. Golden shot of pro, 3.3 <laughs> rings, oh my god, oh my god, 3.3 rings, pull over the bullseye, hit perfect. And we're going to bounce on the green again. 
and this camera going all crazy but we're getting it in for a lovely hole in one here as well let's see what we do get on from this onyx chest if we can get something good maybe all right dart skewer thorn the endbringer that's good endbringer is really good in my opinion even though i have it maxed out it is still a very good club um to to get cards for so 4.2 miles per hour bottom of the yellow ring by the fringe line ball guy line towards the hole you know this already but i'm just repeating myself so it's easier for us all to remember four backspin and 0 0.1 right spin 4.2 miles per hour is 2.7 rings so pulling over the bullseye to get myself the 2.7 and then it's all about hitting perfect. I know, hitting perfect is not the easiest thing to do in the world. But um, if you do, you have a good chance getting a drop on the Vineyard Acres hole number four. Write that pin once again, and we will take it. So that's a couple of hole-in-ones. We're going to have one more shot for you all. And now we get the Topaz chest. I've already gotten the other chest here on this account. The extra mile, and we do have some Kingmakers. And we finalize with some uh, left to right uh, crosswind and headwind. Um, bottom of the yellow ring by the fringe, ball guideline towards the hole. And then we're going to add spins. And I'm going to play 3.8 backspin. And I'm going to, in this uh, case, play 0 0.2 bars of a left spin. 4.1 miles per hour is 2.7 rings, and we're gonna once again pull over the bullseye. Here we go. Now the clock is ticking quickly down towards the zero mark, so make sure to let it swing that. And now we need to release. Perfect ball. Bouncing once again on the fairway, we're getting it up towards the hole, and now we get that ball to just roll in for a lovely hole in one here to end with as well. So, all right, now let's see what we do get in the amber chest. Sorry, fire chest, it is in medium, obviously. Amber is on hard. Malibu, sniper, Thor's hammer, and some kingmakers. So, there we do have it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look at the text guide made by our friend Tony Richardson. As always, link to Tony's uh, YouTube channel is directly in the description down below. So, we do have the landing position pre-spin. Very important, so you need to uh, set the target before you add spin. Bottom of the yellow ring by the top of the fringe. Second bounce directly at the hole. And then we do have the spins, direct tailwind, max back spin or side spin. Wind coming left to right with a tailwind. Four back spin, 0 0.1 left spin. Wind coming right to left with a tailwind. Four back spin, one right spin. Wind coming left to right with direct crosswind, 3.8 back spin, 0 0.4 left spin. Wind coming right to left with back spin, sorry, with the crosswind, 3.8 back spin, 0 0.4 right side spin. And then we do have a left to right crosswind and headwind. 3.8 backspin, 0 0.1 left spin. Wind coming right to left with headwind. 3.8 backspin, 0 0.1 right side spin. Direct headwind, we have three and a half bar backspin. VPR table on the right hand side. We play max plus 10, sorry, max plus 20 every single time. So there we do have it. Thank you so much, everybody. Make sure to comment in the comment section below with how it went for you. I would love to hear uh, and um, I'd love to hear and see uh, your success. Thank you once again for watching. Good luck in your Golf Clash game.